Okay, folks, so um, today has been a very stressful day this morning so far. I'm on my way to the, uh, the pharmacy, and then I gotta get home and then get to the uh, hardware store uh, because, well, frankly, Krista was at the ER. Um, we had some concern about fever that was going on and uh, so we ended up taking her to the ER because, you know, no no way to, to risk anything goofy, right? So, um, well, here, here, watch this. Here's my lovely bride. We're waiting to be seen by the doctor. Bug bite. Yeesh. All right. How you feeling? Like garbage. Yeah. We're gonna get taken care of, baby. I know. Never to fear. I know. I just hate being taken care of, you know that. Huh? I hate being taken care of, you know that. That is true. So enjoy, <laughs> submit, and deal with it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I know. I know. This is what you do when you're bored out of your mind and the doctor won't come in and release you even though he said you can leave. You have to wait for the... Paper. You must wait. Okay, so bug bite. It's lining up because Hope got a bug bite just two weeks ago and we cleaned out her room, her sheets. We got every nook and cranny and crevice and then we we did the, the peppermint oil uh to keep them they don't like peppermint oil spiders don't we don't know what kind of bug it was but i'm assuming it was a spider because it looked the same as hope's bite um yuck i don't like those kind of things this is what we need says pride and prep setter bob and a couple other neighbors they say this stuff, for whatever reason, does the tricks for the bugs around here. Now, this is not an endorsement or anything like that. I'm just showing you what what we're being told works for here. Now, we're not putting this inside. No way, no how. This is only going to be for outside. Well, and lo and behold, as I drive up, what do I see? What do I see? Crazy man on a tractor. Firewood. Getting some firewood. Uh, Getting some firewood? Yeah, our friends Dave and them, they have an old apple tree and stuff, so I'm gonna, they're either gonna throw it away in a burn pile or me get it, so. I would rather you get it. Yeah. I am going to go to the hardware store right now to get more of that uh, bug spray that you recommended. Did you use any of it? I thought it was a visual representation of what I should buy. You can, no. Uh, the sprayer itself is battery operated. So if you have, you need AA batteries. If you don't have them, you have kids, you probably have them. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some. Yeah. I'm gonna get some. I thought you were just being helpful, no, helpful. No, you uh, can use that because we don't use it. We use the late, oh, do you have ladybird spray also? No. It's in a yellow bottle and it kills ladybugs. Okay. Stops them from coming in the house. Uh, I don't think it's ortho. I forget the name, but it's in a yellow bottle. All right. Thank you, sir. The battery operated one is you don't have to pump it. It's just. Burp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on rolling. Thank you again, man. Funny to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Boys, sometimes things are so ironic that they're not really coincidental. You know what I mean? Uh, that they might have been pre-engineered. Anyway, Pride and Kelly were just up at the house just as I was getting ready to leave to go get um, the antibiotics, then get home, then uh, get to the hardware store. And he was, well, Krista was texting Kelly about the bug bite. And Kelly sent Pride to go get the stuff that they use on the outside of their house because they try to keep everything chemical free as much as they can. And so do we. So our intent is to get what he had, um, had showed me what we need and then 
then I'm going to go ahead and spray every outside possibility with that stuff. And then we're going to go, uh, you know, uh, peppermint oil inside. So we're going to go ahead with peppermint oil at every possible nook and cranny and uh, hopefully keep the wee critters, the, the creepy crawlies from crawling and creeping anymore because I... And as long, well, everybody, nobody's happy about it, and it's just got to stop. So they can be happy on the outside of the house, not on the inside. You know, even in the midst of turmoil and, and, the, and the storms that, that happen in life, God gives you little hugs along the way to remind you that he's not going to leave you alone. And, boy, I'm just enjoying his creation, this is just beautiful. All right, hey there, spider woman. How you doing? Ow. Your arm on my I'm sorry. I put my hand down <laughs> to brace myself, and I braced there, in the wrong place. There you go. Uh, I'm okay. Um, Doctor figured it out. We think. We hope. I got a bite on my lower leg, and the pain is up my leg, but. You got antibiotics. Got antibiotics, and I have uh, some pain medicine. Um, because it's excruciatingly painful <laughs> no. and I can tolerate pain pretty well so well and I was thinking about it and this house that we're in which is awesome yes was empty for like a year and a half yeah. so and then it's an older home and so there's places that things can get in mm -hmm. so we are going on well I guess war with spiders well yeah I got stuff, I got things from the inside, outside, and everywhere, and hopefully this will knock it out. So, anyway, there was stuff now that you're, she's not on the mend yet, but. No, I'm, the medicine that they put me on is very, makes me very sleepy, um, and I can't walk around very easily because it just hurts. But it is better it's getting, getting better. better. Yeah. Well, with the pain medicine, of course it's going to be better. <laughs> yeah. Speaking Give it a day or two with the antibiotics, uh, which I am oh so thrilled to take. Not. Uh, it should. I should start feeling better in a couple of days. Yeah. So, you out there, please pray for her. We are very, very grateful. Thank you. So, other stuff that was going on. Uh, yesterday, let's show you. This is what's called a swish pan. Swish. All right, ladies, you move on to a new home. That's right. Well, I'll tell you what's going on. All right, so here's the scoop. Earlier in the year, we had made a deal with a neighbor, who's an awesome lady, by the way, uh, that she was going to give us a bunch of raspberries in exchange for some of the chickens that we have. And we thought this is perfect, 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 because... Not only do we really want some raspberries, we really had a few too many chickens for our coop to be wintered here in this spot because we get a ton of snow. So today, they go on to their new home. Here we go. Pride's up there making tweaks on the uh, on the on the door there. And he's <laughs> well, Pride's busy being Pride. We love Pride. There we go. To your destiny, chickens. You got a great home. She pampers you. It's Ryan's mom. She carries him every day. <laughs> yep. And this is the kind of thing that happens when you live in the country. You go to deliver somebody some chickens and you leave with crates of apples. I love living in the country, and I love apples. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so one of the really cool things about 
being in a small town community is generally, if you're nice to people, they're going to be nice right back. And one of the cool things is our neighbor has a small field that she doesn't really want to tend anymore. And the fellow that was tending it for her, uh, things have changed to where it doesn't make sense for him to come over here to cut such a small field. So I was trying to figure out a way that maybe I could uh, talk him into letting me cut it, but I never got in touch with him because life and all the stuff. Well, he actually got in touch with me. Some of you may have noticed uh, a, a, a really very short clip of a person saying hello to Mike um, in the last video. Well, that was this person, the person that reached out to me. He, he, uh, he came over and he said that um, a cousin of his watches the videos and said, hey, you should check out this weird family that's on YouTube that I think has moved near to where you live. And so he started looking at some of the videos and he goes, oh my gosh, I recognize that house because it's near the field in which he was cutting. So he came over and said hello. And we started chatting and I wanted to, I wanted to ask him what he was gonna do with those bales of hay because I was gonna ask him if we could just buy them from him and then what his intentions were for the next year. So, we're working away on the barn, and he ends up coming over with a bale of hay on his tractor, and I was like, oh man, we never worked out a price. I don't know what he wants to ask for it. He gets there, we're chatting it up, and turns out we're pretty like-minded folks. And he just, I said, so what do you want for the hay? It's free, it's yours. If you're nice to people, people will be nice back. Golden rule, folks. We're very grateful and we're very blessed. Well, that's it for today, folks. Uh, prayers, greatly appreciated. Um, hopefully Mama will be feeling a little bit better tomorrow and things can start clicking back normal. We're still chugging along, still getting a lot done even more than you see on the videos by a lot. Anyway, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead. You guys have an amazing and blessed day.